From Sweden, we travel to Israel next for our number nine choice of shock and awe systems, the Delilah missile. Modern urban-based warfare is as much about avoiding unnecessary collateral damage as it is about destroying the target. All advanced missile systems are designed with this in mind, using smaller payloads and greater accuracy to limit unintentional casualties. But in Israel, they've gone even further with a pioneering deep strike missile called Delilah. After seeking out its target, the Delilah can actually wait for confirmation of that target's identity and only then proceed with its attack. This human intervention means a mistake is far less likely. Delilah is a precision attack missile with a loitering capability. A great bird with a great weapon gives you the most advantage. It's very small. The warhead is 30 kilos. Why it's so small? Because it's accurate and you want to control your collateral damage. It looks very smooth, very sexy. It gives it the ability to fly for a long time. Cruise missiles are like unmanned aircraft and they pursue pre-programmed targets. The Lila, on the other hand, can loiter in the target area, wait for the target for the right moment to attack. Once launched, Delilah flies completely autonomously to a pre-programmed destination using GPS and inertial navigation. A camera mounted in the nose of the missile locates a target from up to 10 miles away and relays a video image back to base. If a target has to be verified, the missile circles over the area, awaiting further instruction to abort, attack, or seek out another target. The fact that the operator can see a target understand exactly where to hit and pursue the same specific point is critical for success of an attack like this. The original air launch design has recently been joined by ground and naval versions, offering surface-to-surface -surface attack capability with a range in excess of 100 miles. These use a booster rocket to accelerate the missile to the optimum altitude and position before the jet engine is ignited for the cruise phase. It can be launched from aircraft, from helicopters, from ships, or from the ground, and reach target at uh, hundreds of kilometers away. With the Delilah with me, I feel very confident, and I'm sure that I'm going to make the mission uh, well. Although highly accurate, Delilah's small 60-pound warhead in limited range score poorly in terms of shock and awe. So the loitering missile from Israel is at ninth place on our list. After the break, we continue our countdown of ultimate weapons of shock and awe with the mother of all bombs. And later, things that go bang in the night aboard the spooky gunship. Vote now for your ultimate weapons of shock and awe. Log on to military.discovery.com.